just briefly briefly recap an opinion I do think that the best candidate you know from the family to speak loud I always thought it would be Susan Veach because uh, depending on circumstance so I have I have this bias right so um, if you're if you're you know if you're a little more mature older uh, basically if, if you're not actively working if if you don't have a job to keep um, you know basically if you're retired hey you can go full steam ahead just don't break any laws plow away uh, what I'm talking about I'm more biased towards loose Kent because uh, he, just, I'll just give you an example all right so you know as an outsider I don't, I don't see what the whole fuss is about you have people um, going out on the streets about Palestine and Israel as an outsider that's not my business okay but basically um, yeah basically because I don't work I'm unemployed on un unemployable I, I can put my face on camera it's just there's a lot of background noise I, I'll do it I, that could be my next video saying how much I just don't care uh, my face my own face on camera you know basically with strong opinions about you know the thing is I don't really have strong opinions either way so basically it's the um, it's it's more like the religious right that has strong opinions and then you have the liberals that have strong opinions basically that that in itself so basically if you need in work if you need a job you don't put your face on camera you don't you stay away you don't you don't talk about keywords Israel Hamas anything like that you're gonna get fired okay so the point is that the best loose cannon are those who have nothing to lose okay you don't have any earned income to lose you don't have a job to lose you don't have an, an employment to get fired from so you can just speak your mind so uh, one of the candidates I thought would be the best for that would be Susan um, you know you, you, you know if, if you're retired then you're, you're you're the best for it so but but here's another here's a topic that I've been thinking about um, this is kind of a work assignment for someone who's not severely attention hyperactive attention deficit basically if you're technical savvy can you basically figure out a way to toggle it to around November 10th just plus or minus you know a week from November 10th 2014 see, you basically see if the satellite imagery has vehicles around the base of the Calipins if you have one or two cars uh, the, the theory I'm working on so basically if basically if you think it was a hoax so what if um, okay place the cell phone here and why does the dogs lose the scent you walk right back the same tracks you've gone on you abandon the vehicle and lo and behold someone else there's a second vehicle and then you pop right in the second vehicle and you're off to the you know off to the races so basically is is there a way to backtrack satellite imagery uh, I I've done that around basically around Lake Mead and you can see okay a car was white car was there white van white car isn't there black van is there black van isn't there so uh, you know someone who has patience maybe they can take a look at that just this is asshole project management mode you know who, who wants to uh, delegate work who wants to do some work actual work